what's up. It has been so long. I mean, quite, what, maybe a few years since I've done this. So uh, let's see if I still got it. But it has been a crazy, crazy ride. Um, I'm sorry to leave you hanging. I really, really am. I did not mean to do that. If you follow my journey, you know that I was expecting a, um, expecting. I was planning, wishing, hoping, praying for a home birth with my firstborn and it was April 2020. We all know what went down during that time and it would just got really, really weird. Um, and so I ended up having to go to a hospital and that wasn't fun. And then the C-section came, you know, my journey, you know, I had a C-section and um, I think there was just a lot of things that I needed to heal from after that. I didn't expect um, Valentina to be such like a high needs baby. And maybe that's just because I was ignorant to what motherhood was was like and what it was gonna be like. And I just went 100% in and I let everything kind of um, just fall by the wayside when it came to like YouTube and social media and all that stuff. And I try to keep up with it, but honestly, my just my heart wasn't in it. And for you guys, some of you might understand that like as you have these little ones, you're like, oh my gosh, like this is all my brain can handle. Um, and so when then when Valentina was 18 months, um, we decided that we were going to go ahead and pursue our second transfer with Isaiah. And we did that um, and it went well. Um, recap, I have talked about the ERA test, the analysis um, a couple of times here and I've had a lot of people reach out to me about the ERA, you know, is it, is, does it work? My doctor says I shouldn't do it, all of these things. Um, I can't speak for anyone but for myself. It worked for me, not once, but, but twice. Um, the second time I decided to get it done again and even though my doctor was like, okay, if you really want to get it done again. Now I will say if you do decide to get it done again, um, the second time is actually not as expensive as the first time. I think the, well, this was a few years ago, so I think it was what, like $7.95 or something like that for the, for the ERA to be done, for the test to be done. When if you get it done another time, it's like two fifty. So I mean, I was like, you know, it's not that much, and it just got it just gave me like a sense of peace and reassurance. Um, I just wanted to go that route again since it worked for the first time. And I will tell you, the first time, um, I think I had to be on progesterone for five days prior to transfer, and the second time it said that my body needed six days, so it wasn't the same. And I will say that. I have another girlfriend, the same thing happened to her too. My lifestyle was different. I did change my eating habits like drastically. So, and that's probably it. And I was a lot lighter. Like I, I was probably, I don't know, 20, 30 pounds lighter. Does that make a difference? I don't know, but those were the differences that I could see from between my first and second born. So my second born, we had a boy, Isaiah, and um, I got my V back. Hey, hey, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you know that um, I just I just tried again with the home birth. And at the time, we actually moved to Puerto Rico. If you followed me, you would know that. And we're actually not in Puerto Rico anymore. Um, we are just a family of just like keeping it, keeping you on your toes. <laughs> I do hope that we plan we plan to stay here for a long time, but we are in Florida. We are in Florida. We are Florida residents now. Um, we are in Central Florida. We are about I don't know 40 minutes outside of Orlando, and um, we are on the coast. We are in a city called Melbourne or Melbourne, however you want to say it. Um, so it's really nice here. I like that it gets cool in the evenings and in the morning time, um, unlike Puerto Rico. It's just always hot. <laughs> um, so you get a little bit of a break, um, but obviously warmer than a lot of other places. But So I have my girl, I have my boy, what's next? Um, well, if you remember, we actually, when we started this process, we ended up with four embryos. The first embryo did not take. The second one was Valentina. The third one uh, was Isaiah. We do have a fourth one. And um, will we be pursuing that? Will we be doing something else? Um, you know, a lot of prayer, a lot of time, a lot of reflection, a lot of conversations with Mondo. And um, we just can't help but, for us, every family is different. 
there's no guilt, there's no shame, whatever you choose to do, that is your business, there is no judgment. Um, for us, I just, for me simply, I could not get over the fact that these embryos um, were, are, were, you know, result of my children, you know, and even though I am totally content with my two, Mondo and I are totally content with our little family, um, I cannot leave that last embryo behind. Uh, we know what this the gender is, kind of makes it a little bit more real, and I just can't. I, I, I just can't. So um, we are going to pursue that fourth embryo. We, you know, have no idea if it's going to come, if it's going to be a result of a baby or not. But um, I just feel like for me, I need to do my due diligence. Now, if I had five, I would, ha I would have had to make a really tough decision. Um, but I don't, don't have that scenario. A lot of people do. And I, I, I can't imagine the, the big decisions that you have to make when that happens. That's the only thing about IVF. It's well, I'm gonna say the only thing, but if that's one thing about IVF that like you don't really think about in the beginning, you're like, I want all these eggs and I want as many as possible because I want all of these options as much as and as many as we can. And then you realize, some of us realize, oh, two, two is pretty good. I'm pretty good with two. And then depending on where you are in your journey, depending on how old you are, right? When you first did it, if you're in your 20s, you might've had a ton of embryos left. And so for that, you know, that's obviously a hard decision that you have to make. Um, for me, I am thankful we only have one. <laughs> Mondo and I are not young. Um, and you're not getting any younger, that's for sure. So um, I don't really feel the need to wait um, as much as I feel like, man, I'm <laughs> finally figure out, you know, things are finally coming into place with these two. Valentina will be four in April. Isaiah is uh, just turned 18 months, so a year and a half. And things are little by little getting easier and easier. And um, my little guy, he's on the monitor right now. And um, he's taken he's taken a, a good little nap. He's he's a good little napper. I am really thankful for that. Um, he doesn't like to sleep at night, but that's probably why he's a good napper in the middle of the day. Um, but um, so yeah, things are finally falling into place, which is probably why I'm sitting here right in front of you doing this. Um, and I finally feel like we're in a routine and all of that good stuff. But um, I still have one more. So we are in Florida. Our embryo is still in um, Tennessee, where, where we came from, and uh, we will be going back to transfer that embryo. When? Um, the plans are um, in a couple months, honestly. Um, the goal was March. My goal is March. Our plan is March. Um, if things change, I don't know. I called the clinic, and as of now, they're expecting me by March 1st. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, hey, you have followed me this long in the journey. And I honestly, I honestly was like, I think I'm just going to keep this last one to myself. You know, I see it all the time. Girls on social media, they kind of keep their pregnancies to themselves. And, oh, surprise, I just had a baby. Or surprise, I'm 20, you know, weeks pregnant. And I just thought, you know what? Mm, I... I don't think I have it in me. You guys have been following me this entire time. I have been honest. Um, I kind of skipped a lot with Isaiah. You didn't really get to know him, but I'm sure you will get to know him um, in the future. And uh, you know, whether this takes or not, hey, I'm gonna be honest and I'm gonna um, bring you along in the journey. So um, I will say that if when, whatever happens, I am ready. I am ready to move forward. From this chapter we have been trying to build a family we have been working towards building a family for over a decade now right and um i'm ready to move on <laughs> i really am um so i am super grateful i'm thankful to the lord for his blessings every day um man my my children are just uh i i can't imagine life without them they have been so worth the fight and if i had to do it all over again I would do it a 10 million times. They're so worth it. I'm so glad we didn't give up. Um, we just knew in our hearts this was this is what was going to happen. And um, I'm glad that we, we kept fighting. Um, and with that said, I am still ready to 
move on to the next season. So, um, you know, part of me wants to wait another six months to like the possibility, the idea of getting pregnant again and doing all of that stuff again. But, um, right. I mean, I will say that even though I had a hard time getting pregnant, um, the pregnancies were actually pretty good. I, I didn't have any issues, very little nausea to none. Um, pretty great. Pretty great. I got really heavy. I will say that. I don't know about you, you girls who have to like inject progesterone, but that stuff gets me every single time and I cannot stop eating. So I'm not really ready for that. If that comes, um, well, I guess that is going to come right. No matter what in the beginning. Um, but so yeah, I'll take you along and, um, we'll just, we'll see how this, how this chapter ends, how this season ends. Right. Um, but the good thing is that my heart is in a good place. Um, hey guys, I know I have been out of the loop for a long time. So if there is something that like you're interested in or that you have questions on or, Hey, what about, or how is this? Hey, comment, comment below because I honestly, I can't, I need your help to to, to try to remember what, what maybe I have missed or what you wish you would see more of. Uh, maybe you just want to see what Isaiah looks like. Um, you can, if you're not following me on Instagram, I'm at Let's Make Lemonade, and um, yeah, I am gonna do a really a much better job. I am saying it out loud about posting and keeping you guys updated because hey, I created I created this account to help others who were dealing with infertility, to give hope, to give inspiration, and uh, man, because of it, I have spoken to hundreds of women all over the world. Um, asking questions about the IVF process or the ERA or just how to get through another day or just how to have faith in God in all of this. Um, so I am here. I'm here for you. If you have any questions, if you want to reach out, if you just want to touch someone and get some words out, I am here. So you can either comment here or follow me on my page and um, we can chat there. So Hey, thanks for being with me. If you have stayed with me to the end, thanks again, guys. Mwah, I love you. I'm so sorry that I have been gone for so long, but I'm back. I think I'm back. <laughs> All right, guys, until next time, see you then.